Hello and welcome to this new video by the Gamesmith. In this tutorial, we'll be learning how to create a virtual joystick for the game. This will be useful if you want the game to be an Android, iOS, or a web game. So as you can see here, I only got the simple scene with the joystick placed at the bottom left corner of the screen. So far, it's not interactable, and I also have this small ball to be acting as our player. To start, we'll head to our scripts folder, create a new C-sharp script, and let's call it Joystick. Now open it in Visual Studio. Once it's open in Visual Studio, we'll need to declare some variables. The first will be a public transform, and we'll call this one player. Another public transform. This one will be outer circle and then a public and then one more public transform which will be inner circle. Finally a public float which will be speed. After that we'll declare four more private variables. The first will be a private bool which we'll call pressed. Then a private vector2 which will be our mouse position. Followed by a private vector3 which will be outer finally a private vector 3 which will be inner after that we'll remove the start function as we'll not need it then we'll create two more functions the first will be void on mouse down and then another function which will be void move player. And in this move player, we will be using a vector to which will be direction. Now jump to the update function and we'll start by setting our outer variable to be equal to our outer circle dot transform dot position same for our inner will be equal to our inner circle dot transform dot position so after that we need to check that if the joystick is pressed so to do so will be if pressed is true we will need to get our mouse position so mouse pose equal input dot mouse position and we want to also set our inner to be equal to our mouse position. Then we'll declare a new vector2 which will be offset and this will be set to inner minus outer then another vector2 which will be our direction. This will be vector2 dot clamp magnitude to set it to a maximum of 1 and negative 1. And we'll be clamping our offset to the value of 1. Once done, 
we'll need to go to our move player function and we'll take our direction to it after that we'll also need to set the position of the inner circle of the joystick to move with the touch so to do so it will be inner circle dot transform dot position equal to new vector2 which will be our outer dot x plus direction dot x and outer dot y plus direction dot y now we need to move the player so we'll head to the function we created earlier which is move player inside which we'll set player dot translate in the direction of our direction with our speed and the time dot delta time now one more step we'll need to head to our on mouse down function and set our pressed to true now save the script once you're back in unity we'll go to our inner circle drag and drop the script to it then add each of the player inner circle and outer circle to each corresponding field set the speed to 5 for example however if we start the game right now it will not make any effect since we didn't teach the joystick to check if it's pressed or not to do so we'll simply add a circle collider and now it's done now start the game and you'll see that it's working perfectly however it doesn't feel if you removed your press from it to fix it we'll need to head back to our script one more time create another function so void this time we'll make it on mouse up in such case we'll need to set our press to false then in the update function we will add one more condition which will be else we want our inner circle dot transform dot position to be set to a new vector 2 and this vector will be our outer dot x and outer dot y this line of code ensures that when you remove the click from the joystick it will stop working and it will reset back to the center of the joystick now save the updates return back to unity and you'll find that everything is working perfectly now thank you for watching if you learned something new today give this video a thumbs up Share it with your friends, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As usual, this is the Gamesmith. See you in the next one.